Well now, little Billy, you listen up here. I'm trying to teach you how to be the best skilled hunter you can be. I tell you what, it don't matter how skilled you are, you gotta have the right tools and equipment to do the job. That's why I got this here hunting bucket. Every good hunter needs himself a hunting hunting bucket with the right tools and equipment in it. Like this here. A good hunter needs a good pair of binoculars. I tell you what, I don't need binoculars to see a deer a mile away. No, I take these over to the warden's house just after dark, and I watch his house from about three quarter miles away there. When I see them lights go off in the windows, that's my cue. Wait about a 20 minutes till he gets in bed there, and that's where this comes in here. Right here. If I want some good hunting piece at night, I use this in one tire. I let the air go out, and then I got this over here. You always stick something in there so he can't catch you on to what it is. Sometimes I use a nail, sometimes I use a screw, sometimes I use a piece of wire that keeps them guessing. Now the sweet thing about this is that the tire repair guy his cousin Ferd. Cousin Ferd and me have a good deal going, but when that warden comes in there to fix his tire, I get a few dollars back. So it ends up being a part-time job for him. Sometimes I can keep him busy all week with sheriffs and deputies and wardens bringing their tires in there to get them fixed. So it ends up being good for both of us. Plus I get lots of hunting peace at night. little Billy. Uh, second most important here tool that I use. <clears throat> Every hunter needs this here. It's going to get you out of a lot of scrapes. It's this here skunk juice. It smells as bad or worse than a skunk. I tell you what, you got a deputy or a sheriff or a warden on your tail. I just keep this right on my belt here. They come up on me. And they're fixing to take me in. There's two different things you can do with this here. And the one sure thing you can do is take it and just spray it all over yourself. I tell you what, you get to smell like a skunk bad enough, I ain't never going to put you in a, in a car. You're free to go. I say, get out of here. And I, sometimes I just leave this on me a couple weeks and it ain't going to be bothering me for a while either. But the second thing you can do, spray them. You get them in the hair real good. I tell you what. They're going to be out of there so fast looking for a bathtub, and you're free to go again. This is miracle stuff here. Every hunter needs that. Hey, little Billy. Now that's the most essentialist tools of hunting you got here. i tell you what, it's time for you to start learning how to use some of these here. You know, you take this here skunk juice and go play with your friends there. You learn how to use that, because you're going to need that. Go ahead there now. Go this way. Go ahead, go play. You learn how to use that.